This is the Blue Ox Sway Pro weight distribution hitch. We're going to show you how to set it up and install it for everyday use. Air ride shock absorbers, air springs, or automatic leveling systems on towing vehicle should be disabled or deflated to the manufacturer's minimum recommended pressure prior to installing the Sway Pro. Park the towing vehicle and trailer in a straight line on firm level ground. Level the trailer by measuring the front and back end. After the trailer is level, measure coupler height. Insert the hitch mount receiver shank into the towing vehicle receiver and secure with 5 8 inch by 3 inch pin and clip provided. Next, install the ball to the hitch head assembly. The ball is not provided. Install the appropriate ball to match the coupler. Use a standard one and a quarter inch or one inch shank non-rise ball. If using a one inch ball shank, use the spacer tube provided. The hitch ball capacity must meet or exceed the gross trailer weight rating. Install the hitch head assembly to the receiver hitch mount with the bolts, nuts, and washers provided. The hitch head assembly may need to be moved up or down on the hitch mount receiver later to raise or lower the coupler height. Measure coupler height. Coupler height will vary on different trailers. The ball should be one to two inches higher than the coupler. The ball should never be lower than the coupler during hookup. Couple the trailer to the hitch head by placing the trailer coupler onto the hitch ball per the manufacturer's instructions. Next, install the Signature Series rotating latches. In this video, clamp-on rotating latches will be used. Bolt-on latches are also available. Measure 29 inches back from the center of the ball coupler or the pivot pin and mark this point on the trailer tongue framework. Mark on both sides. Center and mount the rotating latches to the trailer frame over the marked areas. Remove or relocate any obstructions on the trailer tongue framework if necessary. Tighten the bolts on the rating latch at this time. Insert the spring bar assembly into the hitch head pivots until the manual release pins snap closed and lock the bars into place. The spring bar chains must be straight up and down in the center of the rotating latch when the towed vehicle and trailer are aligned. Verify that the rotating latches are in the proper position. Torque the square head set screws against the trailer tongue framework to 40 foot-pounds and tighten the jam nut. Release the rotating latch bracket by rotating the lock pin. Rotate the bracket using the wrench that was provided and turn clockwise until the chain slot is on the bottom. Insert the chain with a desired chain link in the slot of the tightener. In this video, we will start at chain length 7. We recommend to start at chain length 4 and adjust as necessary. Using the wrench, rotate the bracket counterclockwise until the latch pin engages in the latch hole. Do the same on the other side. Apply weight to towing vehicle. Measure coupler height. It is at 23 inches. We need to get the coupler height to 26 inches. Notice that the spring bars show no flex. This is incorrect. The spring bars need to be flexed. Raise the jack to take the weight off of the towed vehicle to adjust the chain length on the spring bars. Release both rotating latches by rotating or pulling the bracket lock pin. The coupler height needs to go up 3 inches. Increase the chain lengths from 7 to 10. Repeat on the other side. Notice the spring bars are now flexing. This is correct. Put weight back on the vehicle and measure coupler height. The coupler height is now 25 inches. Since the spring bars are flexed and the coupler height is 1 inch short, we need to raise the hitch head up one hole to raise the front of the trailer. Take the weight off of the towed vehicle. Release both rotating latches by rotating or pulling the bracket lock pin. Disconnect spring bars by turning 90 degrees or pulling out the pins to remove. Unhook the trailer coupler from the hitch. 
Remove the hitch head assembly from the receiver hitch mount by unscrewing the bolts, nuts, and washers. Move the hitch head up one hole on the hitch mount receiver and reinstall the hitch head assembly with the bolts and torque to 285 foot-pounds. Couple the trailer to the hitch head by placing the trailer coupler onto the hitch ball. Reinsert the spring bar assembly. Release the rotating latch bracket by rotating the lock pin. Rotate the bracket using the wrench that was provided and turn clockwise until the chain slot is on the bottom. Use chain length 10 again. Repeat on the other side. Apply weight to the towing vehicle. Measure coupler height. The coupler height is now 26 inches. The spring bars are flexed. At this point, we are ready to hook up safety chains and electrical cable and drive off. Unhooking. Unhook safety chains and electrical cable. Take weight off a of vehicle. Release both rotating latches by rotating and pulling bracket lock pin. Disconnect spring bars by turning 90 degrees or pull out the pins. Unhook the trailer coupler from the hitch. It is optional to remove the Sway Pro from the towed vehicle.